Okay, this problem presents us with an opportunity to practice present value and future value and using the tables. So all in all, not a bad deal. So let's start, I'm going to start with these two because those are straight calculator dances. So we'll do those just like we've done before. Okay, so I'm looking at the first one. Come in, apps, finance, time value of money solver, and my interest rate is 11. So put that in, and my years are 11, put that in. We're looking for the present value, so I'll leave that blank. We're, it's a single sum, so there are no payments. I'm looking for the future value of 66,000. I will put that in. And that's the information I need. Second, quit, apps, finance. And I'm looking for the present value, which is option four. Enter. And I come up with $20,940.69. Point eight cents. So twenty thousand nine hundred forty one dollars is the present value of sixty six thousand if I can get eleven percent for eleven years. We'll do the next one again apps, again finance, again time value of money solver. Now we're told that the time period is 20. And you don't want a decimal point in there. So time period is 20. The interest rate we can get for this is 6. And in this case, we know the present value, 24, 321. Again, it's a single sum, so we're not making any payments. We need to get rid of the future value. That's what we're looking for, so that's the information. So, second function, quit, apps, finance, and now we're going to future value, so that's option six. And we're given the number of 78,074 cents. 78,074 cents will give us that answer. So we did those two, they're, they're kind of the easy ones. The next ones, we have to figure out what happened. So let's take a look at this one, okay? We'll set this one up algebraically. 44,421 dollars times the future value factor at I we're not sure of, question mark, for 15 years equals 80,000. So what we need to do is we need to solve for this. We had to have to figure out what that is. So we'll just do that. And it's really pretty straightforward algebra. 44,421 divided by 80,000 gives us 0.55526. So that's the factor. So we need to figure out what we're doing here. So we'll take our present value and we know our time period is 15. So taking our present value table at 15, 
because we're given that. We come look for 55526. Five, five, we find it right here. Let me zoom in so you can see it. 55526 five, right here. And that's in the 4% column. So our interest rate in this one had to be 4%. Now let's take a look at the next one. We're going to do the same thing for all three of these basically. You know, we're going to find the factor and then we're going to go back and look on the table to see what it was. So in the next one, we're going to take $11,637, divide that by 46500 and when we do that, we come up with 0 0.25026. And we know the interest here is 8. So we're going to look down the 8 column, the interest column. We're going to look down the 8 column until we come to 25026, which is right there. And then come across and it's going to tell us 18 years. So approximately 18 years is the missing variable. And we'll do the same thing with the last one. And when we do that, we find that it works out to be 9%. We take 41 559 divide by 165,000 that gives us 0.25187 we go look that up because we know that the n is 16 so we look down 16 and the 16 we look in the row for n is 16 and we go over until we find that factor so we're going here at n is 16, and we go across until we find our factor, 25187, and we look up to the top, and we see that that's 9%. So, good chance for you to use both tables and a calculator strut your stuff with regard to present value and future value.